What's up, Turtle fans? I am the White Foot Soldier, and this is an unboxing and review of the new TMNT Classic Collection Slash and Leatherhead by NECA. Now, if you watch my previous review of the Casey Jones and Slashed Foot Soldier, uh, you'll know the story behind how I acquired these um, at my local Target, so I won't uh, talk about that. Um, but I will say, obviously, these ones again, um, along with all the other NECA TMNT figures, are hard to find. So it was a pleasant surprise getting a hold of them. Um, the box art looks fantastic. We get the cartoon um, designs of Slash and Leatherhead on the front with the TMNT logo. Slash and Leatherhead on the top. You can see this thing just has so many accessories. The figures look amazing. Uh, we get uh, Leatherhead on the side. Get Slash on this side. Slash and Leatherhead both in the back. As I talked about in my previous uh, video as well, uh, Bebop and Rocksteady are due for a restock this fall, I believe it is. Um, and April O'Neil and the Foot Soldier, um, I believe are out right now. I'm seeing some pop up. So they should be hitting stores uh, more widespread soon, um, hopefully. <laughs> uh, Casey Jones, Foot Soldier, of course, are out as well as I reviewed those the other day. So please check that out if you have not done so. Um, so let's break this open and check out what we've got here. Okay, let's first check out the accessories and then we'll uh, go through the figures. Uh, so we'll start with Leatherhead. Um, Leatherhead actually comes with two sets of uh, hand swaps here. So we got um, the kind of open palms. And then the other set is more of a, a pointing kind of for the gun, I think. So we could put that one on the trigger and then this one would be for uh, holding some of the accessories. So we get a little bit of sloppiness on that one, a little bit of uh, like purple paint I just noticed on that whenever it hit the light. Leatherhead also comes with uh, two lobsters. So of course, Leatherhead being from the bayou, uh, we, we gotta have the lobsters. Um, these are more of a like a rubber material. You gotta be careful with those. That's pretty, pretty thin uh, by the claws there. Um, so we get two different uh, shades of paint apps too. So that's cool. He also comes with a chain and a trap or a um, collar, I guess I should say. Um, now, if you recall from the 87 cartoon, uh, Leatherhead used this on April. So once you get your April, you, April, you can uh, recreate that scene with this um, chain. He also comes with another trap. This is almost kind of like a bear trap. Um, this actually does articulate it, opens up and uh, you can close it. And that's more of a harder uh, plastic. And he comes with a gun. Now this gun, um, I assume this is his gun. I was looking through and I, I think this is his because um, Slash comes with a couple other guns. But that almost looks like they're like ketchup uh, bottles like you'd see at a restaurant <laughs> on the ends of those. So um, that's a nice uh, piece there. Get some different details on there. Um, yeah. A cool looking gun and he also comes with a rope which I assume then could be tied on or used with the net so if you wanted to now this net's actually pretty big so if you um, wanted to throw this net on anybody any of the uh, figures you could do that it is big enough that um, you could probably cover any of the <laughs> NECA uh, figures you probably could maybe even cover all four turtles if you wanted to with this net and then it has different ties on each corner. So those are the accessories um, with Leatherhead. So we'll head on over and check out Slash's next. Okay, let's check out Slash's accessories next. We get a gun that's uh, pretty high tech there. That's um, some uh, futuristic weaponry going on there. <laughs> um, actually, I think this one was used in one of the episodes with Slash as well. Um, if I recall correctly. So uh, that's neat to always get an accessory that ties into the series. Um, you know, not just something that's thrown in just that you think would go with them. So that's cool to have um, something like that. Um, this, I mean, th these figures are just jam packed with accessories. That, that was awesome to see when I opened it up. Um, I'm a sucker for a lot of accessories and uh, NECA is really delivering on that front. It also comes with another, um, this one's more of like a pistol uh, or handgun, I should say. And this is kind, this is more of a rubber material on the end, so you have to be careful with that. That actually like attaches on uh, to the gun there, and it's um, it's pretty 
pretty soft and could be uh, kind of delicate, so you got to be careful with that one. But that's a neat looking one. It almost looks like like some sort of like turbos or something on the top. <laughs> so that's a cool, cool accessory there. And we also get a half-eaten pepperoni pizza. Now this, you can hear that's a hard plastic. So that's not a bendy, flexible pizza like some of the other uh, pizzas that we've seen um, in, you know, for the turtles in general. Um, you see the teeth marks in there, so some nice work there. And of course you have to have uh, Slash's binky, so like the miniature palm tree. Um, that's more of a rubbery material as well, kind of looks like a piece of broccoli in, a, in that way. And Slash also comes with a little mini turtle. Now this is cool because it has some uh, spots sculpted on its uh, shell and it even has little painted eyes. So there's a lot of detail on this guy, even the plaster in is colored. So that's a cool uh, little turtle um, if you wanted to use that even. Um, kind of reminds me of Spike from the uh, uh, 2012 series. So if you want Raph to have Spike, you can also interchange this guy with that uh, line. And he also comes with two katanas. So these are actually really nice too. They're, they're painted well. Um, there's uh, on the handles, some of like the wraps are almost like a uh, mustard color and then almost like a cork end. I don't know if you can hear that, my fingernail's actually down inside of that. So uh, really, really nice looking uh, weapons there. Uh, so that wraps up the accessories. So now let's have a look at the figures. Now these guys look great. We're gonna start over um, with Leatherhead first. Uh, the first thing I do want to um, point out too is the only uh, part that you have to attach uh, for these guys, or assemble, I, I guess I could say, um, is the tail um, on Leatherhead. So this piece actually uh, is separate and then it just pops on a little um, ball joint there and then it articulates around. So uh, checking out Leatherhead, I mean, we get some really nice paint apps. Uh, we can see kind of a lighter green in the front, darker green in the back, uh, some wristbands there. Um, the uh, nice cutoff uh, jacket, and we get again two tone there. We get um, kind of like a more of a mustardy color brown on the front or yellow, um, and then a, a, a brown in the back there. Um, we turn around in the front, we get his belt, um, and his belt is like a rubber material, and it looks like that it actually does have a spot where you could clip on uh, some of the accessories, so that's cool. Actually, uh, no, I thought that did have a piece on it, I was gonna say. I don't know if this accessory had a hook, if you could hook that on, but um, I'm sure that you can, you know, figure out some different uh, ways of attaching things to that belt. Um, pretty much from the waist down, we get all blue, um, even down into the boots. Uh, so this this is a big figure. It's a heavy figure. Um, I do have the neck of stands, so I'm gonna definitely be using those, and I hope that that helps because uh, the tail's even. Uh, it's pretty um, heavy, so it kind of falls back a little bit. So you're gonna have to kind of lean this figure a little bit uh, forward in order to get him to stand properly because it is um, a well-made heavy uh, figure. Um, I love the sculpting detail on the uh, belly. Um, that's really nice. There's a lot of uh, grooves down through there. Um, what else have we got? We got some pockets on the uh, jacket. Uh, Let's see, turn them around. We get some uh, detailing on the back there. Um, back, the belt obviously, you know, wraps the whole way back around. Um, I don't really see a whole lot of sloppiness as far as paint or anything goes too. There's a couple spots on there, but that's almost more like a rugged jacket look. I don't even consider that to be, you know, sloppy or anything. So it's nice. I know one of my um, Bebop or Rocksteady, I can't remember which one it was, had a little bit of extra paint where it shouldn't have been on there. But, uh, you know, these guys are looking looking good. Um, going up to the head, the head sculpt is really, really nice too. Um, looks like a, uh, you know, a really uh, fierce uh, a creature. So we got um, articulation actually in the mouth too. So the mouth opens up, teeth are pretty sharp, so be careful with those. Um, doesn't open super far, but it opens enough to where you can uh, notice, um, you know, big difference there between it closed and shut. And we get some uh, different tone under, uh, paint underneath the uh, chin, uh, the eyes, the yellow eyes, and then a uh, cool hat uh, sculpted on with some different colors on there and some different lines to make it look um, cartoony. So uh, so now let's check out the articulation. We get it obviously in the shoulders, uh, the head and neck. Now the head and neck, it doesn't really turn a ton. And as we said, the mouth, um, in the waist, uh, wrists, 
kind of flying through this here. Boy, they're tight. So they're tight on the, but there's ball joints. There we go, in the hips. And then uh, we get a lot of articulation in the knee actually. So that, that will be good, that will help this guy stand. And then the ankles actually rotate, look at that, that goes like the whole way around. So that's good, so that's um, that's gonna help this guy stand, like I said, because of it being heavy. And then of course we said too that the tail twists around. Um, so this is this is a really, really sweet figure. Like I said too, it's, it's a lot bigger as you could see when it was next to Slash even. Uh, so you'll notice that the packaging is actually thicker too uh, compared to the other classic collections. Um, you know that are out. So, uh, so there's sla or, uh, Leatherhead. Sorry, there's Leatherhead. And now uh, we'll check out Slash next. Now, I was actually curious as to how Slash was going to look because um, I know that he probably used some of the or NECA probably used some of the same parts um, as they did for the uh, four turtles. Um, the plaster, I believe, is the same. The legs and arms are the same. But then there's some different pieces sculpted on. And I'm totally fine with that. I know some people complain and they want a completely entirely new sculpt. Um, if that's the way that NECA has to do this in order for us to get these guys, like that doesn't bother me because there are enough differences. Um, this guy looks really good. I mean, he, again, I know I use this uh, phrase for Casey Jones, but he looks like he just popped off the, uh, the television screen as well. I mean, look at that head sculpt. That is, that is sweet. We get like some little, um, almost like warts on his, on his head. Uh, kind of the headband there with the one yellow eye, um, the kind of creepy grin across his face. Um, so this guy really looks good. Uh, we get some shoulder pads there. Now those are rubber. We get a belt with the skull on it and that is um, rubber as well. Uh, some of the, the knee pads, um, spikes and stuff, those aren't sharp. Those are actually just uh, rubbery. Same thing with the hands. Now we didn't get any hand uh, swaps with him. I don't think it's really necessary because he just has the open hands to where he can hold the accessories. Um, so uh, not a big deal there. We get the elbow pads, the wrist, um, wrist bands there. Uh, we get the belt that wraps around and then he's got like a backpack on the back there. So there's a backpack there that probably can come off. I'm not going to take it off, but that probably can come off if you want it off. Uh, we get a really neat shell. Um, that shell looks nice. I mean, they, they really sculpted on the um, spikes on there. And it's cool too, because they're not all the same. Like, look how this one's like bigger. Like they didn't, uh, whoop, here, let me turn that so you can see that better actually. This one's bigger. Then we got the two little ones. That one's kind of off to the side. That one's kind of in between. Uh, and then the smaller ones and then the spikes the whole way down. So I love that they didn't actually just, you know, make a mold of um, a bunch of spikes and just threw them on. Like that's that's a lot of different detail on there uh, that makes this figure look great. So um, I love the extra uh, attention that NECA gave this guy. Um, I think that kind of covers the uh, the paint apps um, and, you know, the design. Uh, there isn't any articulation in the mouth on this one, like, like Leatherhead. Um, it looks like there maybe could be, but there's not. Um, the chin, chin sticks down there. Uh, so obviously the articulation is pretty much the same as it is with uh, the four turtles. We get around the head, we get it in the shoulders. Now these guys are, it's actually pretty tight there. I don't wanna bend it too far, but that one's um, in the shoulder. Um, obviously the legs go back and forth. Um, in the knees, in the feet, the feet swivel the whole way around. So um, the wrists, uh, yeah, so I mean, that's this guy features a lot of uh, articulation just like the uh, turtles did. Um, just, you know, be careful because <laughs> they are tight. Like that uh, elbow right there was really tight too. Um, but uh, yeah, so that looks um, really, really good. I mean, these were these were worth the wait. I've um, been checking Target every day. I was really, really happy to score this um, set. Uh, hopefully I'll have more luck in the future with some of the um, newer sets that are coming out as well. There's a side shot of them. And as I always like to point out, um, this does have the backdrop of the classic uh, Turtle Lair from the 87 cartoon. So I always like to kind of wrap the review up with that because it is such a cool backdrop. Um, so this has been a review of the Slash and Leatherhead TMNT Classic Collection by NECA. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck finding these guys and please subscribe for more TMNT news and reviews.